Hello. In this video, I'm going to be drawing a brown spider, and these photos are by uh, James Rebin. Thanks to him, as always. And the thing about this is I'm using quite a few different photos to reference uh, just this photo. Um, now that I look closer, I, I don't think I may need it 100%, but it does it is a good idea to have multiple views of a given insect so you can get the uh, the full picture. Because this spider, although he looks a bit simple, he has a lot of different things going on. I mean, he has like this this head thing, um, his, uh, I think it was Chelsea maybe, or Pulse, something. But you know, they have like these two things. And I could reference uh, these other images. And, uh, because like, I think different parts will help me. So I'm going to start, sorry, I'm just gonna move these over here, over there, and I'll, I'll keep it right there. So I'm gonna start with a gesture, and when I say gesture, I usually try to summarize uh, various parts, trying to do it proportionally, but I always make uh, mistakes here and there, but I try to use like straight lines, straight as that can be, which you, but you rarely see straight lines on uh, organic things. Uh, C curves or like a variation, uh, S curves or a variation, ellipses of uh, various degrees, and sometimes shapes. But you don't always have to execute a shape in one, but you know, you could even think of a shape sometimes as like a couple different things or if you do have enough practice at it you may be able to, you may be able to <laughs> execute it in one go sorry i'm a little bit tired long day um so to start off i'm actually gonna put this image a little bit higher how about like right there so i'm going to start with the uh, cephalothorax that's like the head if you see where my computer mouse is over here And I'm trying to think. Like, I'm going to summarize it as a ball or an ellipse. Kind of like that. And uh, now I'm going to draw the ellipse for the abdomen. Mm, I don't like that shape. Kind of like that. Um, so now I'm going to draw the uh, pilot holes for the legs. And it's an arachnid spider, so it's got eight legs. And we could see, we could see uh, the interesting shapes. You know, initially when I picked this spider, I thought its legs were simpler until I kind of uh, exploded the view. And I'm like, whoa, it has a lot more complexity than meets the eye. And now I know that I'm probably in for a much longer drawing than I anticipated, and I'm kind of uh, regretting it because I'm really hungry right now. <laughs> and uh, I feel like I should have eaten before I made this video, because I'm pretty sure I'm going into like an hour long, <laughs> an hour long thing. I mean, I like doing it, but I should have eaten. Oh well. So now I am going to, uh, I'm going to draw like lines for the legs. And you know, I feel like I have to do a lot of estimating for the legs, because I always realize that the more uh, structure that I draw, and when I like jump between it, I sometimes uh, greatly mess up the shape. Like I think even here, it should have been a little bit more, a little bit more like that. And I wish I could erase that if I wasn't hiding all of those. I 
Okay. I'm going to try not to do too many correction edits because I'm pretty sure it's annoying to the viewer, which is you. Um, always feel free to draw along as I do this. Um, if you do have traditional media like pencil, I am sorry because <laughs> I make so many mistakes. But if you're using digital, I mean, I'm still sorry, but at least you could undo your mistakes a little bit easier. And now that I uh, think about it, I keep wondering, maybe I made the initial pilot holes a bit too large, because now when I look at my actual reference, those starting beans are a bit smaller. And I'm trying to draw like at the same scale, but I'm going to roll with it. I think I would learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I need to write like a sticky note of uh, things to be aware of. Because man, even these pilot holes are like much, much closer. Because I think the back ones could work, but I think yeah, the front ones. I made the I made the pilot holes for the legs way too large. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to try to correct it, and I really don't like doing this because, um, well, you know, it's a bit annoying for the viewer. So I'm going to try to do that one more time. Because now that I look at it, I need to be more cautious because there is like a small gap between each leg. Kind of like that. Because I want those leg holes to uh, take up the entire bean shape. I don't want to make it larger than I need to be. I'm trying to be accurate with my spider. And maybe I'll do the same to the legs over here. Because clearly I made them too large. Kind of like that. Um, so now I'm going to do the left back third leg right here. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to do the back fourth leg. Ah, it's too far from that other leg. So I think a mistake I kind of made here right off the bat is this should be a lot closer. I kind of made it a bit too far apart um, from the cephalothorax. Like it should be like smack dab, like right, right there. I don't like that line. I think about there. I'm trying to cap off the legs just so I have a, an idea. Maybe this time, since I'm using multiple pieces of reference, I'll try to draw some of the leg parts that I can't see all of, but I could see some of. So now I'm going to do the front leg right here. I think the gap should have been a bit larger. Maybe even a bit longer at the end. In my opinion, arachnids are so difficult to draw. I don't know why I find them so much more uh, taxing. Sorry, I want to redo that end cap. 
Yeah, I, I keep wondering why I find them so hard to do. Maybe they just have a lot going on. And maybe this will spill into another video. Not this video, but I mean like a, another video about what I like to call line debt. The spiders have a lot of lines to draw. Okay, now to this leg. Now the back leg, and it's like, it, it goes kind of behind the abdomen, kind of goes out like that, and like that, and like that. And I think I kind of, I should have made that end kind of more curved. Like, I think it, it was good. I'm going to do it one more time. Perhaps it should have been more like that. No, I think that's okay. And I'll cap it off. Okay, so we have the legs. And now I want to add the initial uh, bean shape to it. It's kind of like a, more like a coffee cup. Oh, and by the way, I'm sorry if you hear fireworks. Um, if you hear fireworks in the background, they kind of sound like, well, they're fireworks, just now they're fireworks. <laughs> Um, I live in an area where people seem to have money to spend a lot on fireworks. But, okay, I'm gonna, now for these uh, initial, they're, they're kind of more like pods. I don't know why I keep thinking of like Tide Pods, um, but I'm going to draw an ellipse. To connect these initial shapes. I'm doing the back one and you know a thing I found um, what I have found is that when I draw like the same shape in different perspectives when I'm kind of like handling one at a time I find it I don't know I find it a bit easier I kind of like to build all the legs out like that it's just the way that I like to do it I mean you could always build out the legs in a different way if you uh, choose to so don't don't think that the way I do it is the way you have to do it. It's just the way that I'm trying it for this video. And perhaps I may change it in the future. So even though I can't see this side of the legs, I'm going to try to uh, estimate it. Because I think an estimated guess is probably better than not drawing them at all. Because these uh, beans, they definitely have to exist on the other side. Just because you don't see them doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You know, thinking from non-quantum -quant uh, terms. Okay. So now for the, uh, there's like an intermediary shape. Oh, you know what? No, I think it's more connected to the leg. So there's this uh, interesting <coughs> bean-like shape. And I'm going to draw an ellipse to where the, uh, where it kind of ends. And, you know, sometimes when you draw an ellipse, you're going to draw a straight end because if you uh, if you think of a uh, coin if you are like a penny or I don't know whatever coin and you view it from like the side it's kind of like a straight line so if you're wondering about like where I'm getting it from that's why I uh, drew that and now I want to uh, connect it to this ellipse right here and I'm going to try to ghost my lines more you know Another thing, and when I say ghosting, it's kind of like getting practice in before you draw the given line. Um, and it's like a way, it's kind of like uh, if you ever have cut wood before, 
like measure twice, cut once. You know, it's kind of like going by that philosophy. And you try to do that for uh, every line. Okay. Now, for this one, and the interesting thing about that is the perspective is uh, very, it's like right there, or maybe even kind of like that. Uh, I think I made that shape way too long. It is like way more stumpy. Kind of just goes like that. Yeah, I think that part, that segment, is a bit too long, but I'm going to roll with it. Um, the segment here, I could see the line, like right there. For this back leg, I can see it like right, right there. And now I'm beginning to think I may have made the uh, abdomen a bit too large. But it's like right, it's like right at the, well, it's a bit over the turning point. It's about like right there. So it connects to that. So the back one is uh, greatly obscured and it looks so much longer. So I don't know, it's like extended in a very interesting direction. I wanna like put there. I'm pretty sure I'm messing up that far back leg. Cause there's no way it's as long as I'm thinking it is. But I kind of want to just roll with it. It's a bit thinner than I drew. Ah. Kind of like that. This leg, I think it's like about, about here. Kind of like that. Try that again. Kind of like that. This leg about there. Kind of like there. This leg is kind of at the joint area, even though a good portion of it is obscured. Kind of like that. So great. We have those legs. Um, another thing I wanted to say is if you're ever drawing insects yourself, you don't have to think or you don't have to draw it all in one go. I'm um, doing a lot of these for uh, demonstration purposes. And in general, you may want to uh, break your study sessions up into like 25 minute chunks. If you ever heard of the Pomodoro technique, it's like 25 minutes of concentrated study, then like a five minute break, kind of like that. So now I wanna draw this shape here, kind of like a bean. That connects over there. And yeah, I'm seeing this uh, consistent bean shape throughout. This bean is kind of shaped like, like that. Kind of 
kind of like that. This beam shape is kind of like that. Beam shape here, it's kind of like coming out at both sides. Let me do that again. Kind of like that. This beam shape, it's kind of like that. Let me do that one more time. This beam shape, kind of seen like that. Okay, now for the other leg section. It kind of gets a bit uh, thin. <coughs> it's like a thin, long beam. And all, I'm trying to show like all these legs kind of, well they do, they do connect to each other, kind of like uh, interlocking beams or you could think like chains. I, I always think of like chain linked fences. So this leg here ends like at that cap, kind of at like the turning point. This one ends about there. Um, this one ends about there. Um, the back one ends about here. This one ends, I think I should have made this leg a little bit further. And I'm going to extend it, like, you know, luckily I'm working in digital. <coughs> oh man, I just never get it perfect the first time, but who does? So I'm just gonna extend it a little bit further. I'm trying to compare. It's like a little bit past that point, so it's a lot further than I expected. And I think a little bit further. Yeah, I think that's good. So this leg is about kind of to there. This leg, it kind of it's kind of like right there. bit too large. Now this leg, it's kind of like there. And now for the, okay, well, you know what, actually, now that I look closer, it's kind of like the last two legs, they're kind of like in two separate sections, about halfway down. They're kind of like very thin. I keep thinking like a nematode, if you know what a nematode is. They're like a worm that eats a, uh, and there are like two of them. But a nematode is like a, it's like a worm that attacks soft-bodied insects. I'm guessing they're a parasite. No, I don't think, I don't think they're a parasite. I think they're just, uh, they just devour. But 
but they're kind of like two stacked nematodes. And it's kind of like the one on top is a bit larger than uh, a bit larger than the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom is a bit thinner. And it seems like they're in two distinct sections, so even though I can't see it 100%, I will draw it. I'll go about here. say about there for this leg I think it's about like right there and there kind of like that I think that last one I made a little bit too thick it should have been more that and that okay we got the legs down and I think the legs are like the hardest thing to uh, to draw in all of this and now that I'm looking at the time of the recording we're at 27 minutes <laughs> so yeah I think the legs take a fair amount of time and focus so now I want to draw some uh, structure and I want to draw <coughs> I'm gonna draw the like it's kind of like a shell shape before it's like a crown. I can't think of it. Or more like, like I can think of like a scuba visor. I don't know why, but it's kind of like a, sort of like a fan-like shape. But it's on top of this other crab-like structure. So whenever I look at spiders, I always see this additional... Crab-like structure. It's kind of like a crab shell. Um... And I'm seeing some other interesting things. Like, I see, like, these bulging eyes. I, like, right here, if you look right there. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. And on this perspective, uh, like, on, like, on this side right here, it's kind of like we only see a certain portion of it. Kind of like a, well, like a half circle. But over here, I feel like we could see uh, more of it. And it's a bit interesting. So I don't think I need this image anymore, but I am going to resize this image. Uh, this is my app, Thumbtastic. Uh, I made it. And if you're interested, it's for, it's free. I released it free so I could help people draw. Uh, it's It really helps you view reference images more easy on like a digital tablet, if you're interested. Um, I can't see all of his eyes but I could see some. The other thing I wanted to get, there's like that, uh, I'm not sure if it's like a proboscis, but it's like a triangle shape for like pincers or something, you know? And it kind of goes about, well, I'll show you, right? It's kind of like, I'm gonna make two circles for it. Its mouth is closed, which I could assume. And based on the perspective, I think it's a bit like that. Well, actually, I think it should actually be going the other way. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. As it connects to that larger structure. Um, the other thing I need to draw are these two things. I'm not sure if it's for grasping prey, but we can't really see the circles 100% based on the perspective, but I'm going to draw some gestural lines for it. It's kind of like, like that, that, actually that, this one should have been like more over here, but it kind of goes like that, like that, 
and then there's like a ball like shape. It's more like an oval. Over here has it as well. Goes in them pretty positive. It's interesting because it's it looks kind of like a pine cone. Could just be the hair kind of obscuring it. But it kind of has like this uh, sharp shape to it, so it's hard for me to know. I'll have to Google it. But yeah, it's a interesting shape. So now I want to draw like the bean shape for that, and it's a bit difficult to see how it connects to it. And I'm kind of drawing over a lot of stuff, so it kind of makes it a bit more complicated. The other interesting thing here is like this one. I'm kind of seeing like a flat side to it which like I feel like you never see flat shapes or like flat lines like that um, in organic things. It just doesn't add up to me, but I'm pretty sure it's just a perspective illusion of what I'm seeing. So now I wanna draw like this, this visor like shape and it kind of like goes over the eyes. It kind of like goes over just a little bit like look uh right over here right here it goes ever so slightly over it's kind of like a bit of an overhang then it kind of goes up slightly passing the right second leg then it like goes over the form and kind of like connects back to where it would make sense logically and then it attaches all to that it like covers the eyes as well it's like a really bizarre shape. I keep thinking like a fan for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah. So now the last thing I want to draw, I want to draw a portion of the web spinner. We can only see one. Um, it's how spiders like release their webs. It's very subtle, but I, I see it. It's like a very subtle point. I know spiders have two of them, but in this perspective, we can only really see one of them. And I want to say, I think it's kind of like sticking out a little bit. So I want to draw like a little pilot hole uh, and I'll we'll kind of like draw kind of like that. That's what I'm seeing as it attaches to that ellipse that I put on the uh, abdomen. It has another one, but we just can't see it in the perspective based on the viewing angle of uh, this photo. <coughs> now that I look at it again, I want to make that eye over here kind of bulge out a little bit more, more than I did. Um, and we have that eye. And maybe I'll like fill it in with a bucket a little bit. So and I'll try to, or like just try to color it in so I could try to make the eyes a bit more apparent, even though it's a bit hard to see. And I don't want to cover up any gesture or construction. But yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> I hope it's not all too uh, obscured. And perhaps when I drew that fan-like thing, it should have been covering uh, the beans. Like these these two bean shapes here, they really shouldn't be uh, seen in any way. So I may have drawn them a bit too large, considering like the head top thing. But yeah. Oh, you know, one last thing. The inner connecting point between our cephalothorax which is like this part the head and thorax combined in the abdomen i do see like some s very subtle uh connection points so it's kind of like you could think of like an ellipse here an ellipse here and kind of just like a connecting shape to connect both parts but yeah at this point i covered the main things of our uh spider so thanks for sticking around thanks to james Revan. if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel if you like the video, please like it. If you have a question, please ask in the comments or you could email me. Uh, thanks for sticking through. Bye.